Hi everyone. This is the book that we are going to read today and it is called The Lineup Book by Marissa Bina Russo. Marissa Bina Russo is the author. And here is this little boy and he's about to line up his toys. So let's see what he's gonna do. Sam dumped all his blocks on the floor. Then he heard his mother calling him for lunch. Just a minute, Sam called back. Sam's in his bedroom. Let's see what he says. Sam started to line up his blocks. They stretched all the way across his room and out the door. When he ran out of blocks, Sam said, I need something else. So it looks like Sam is making a big line with all of his different blocks. And his blocks look, they have letters on them. Books. The books lined up all the way to the bathroom. Come on, Sam, he heard his mother calling. Just a minute, Sam called back. He looked around and he thought to himself, I need something else. So first he had blocks, now he's getting his books, making a very long line. Looks like Sam has a lot of different books. I see one about fish, one over here, one about flowers, lots of different kind of books. Bath toys, now Sam got bath toys. Now the line reached the front door. Sam, it's time to wash your hands, called his mother. Just a minute, Sam called back. The bath toys were all used up. Oh, I need something else, said Sam. So first Sam had his blocks, then he had his books, and now he's getting all of his bath toys. I think some of our Yellow Room friends have all three of these things at home. So you can think to yourself about your books and about your blocks and about your bath toys and what kind of things you have at your own house. Look, I see a turtle and a bucket. Look at all these fun bath toys. Let's see what Sam is gonna say next. Boots. The boots lined up right into the living room. Sam, the soup is getting cold, called his mother. Just a minute, Sam called back. I'm almost there. He looked around the living room. I need something else, said Sam. So think, think, think in your head. Where is Sam trying to go? If his mom is calling him for lunch, where do we think that Sam is going to eat lunch with his mom? Hmm. Let's think about that. Looks like Sam has a lot of different boots there. It looks like maybe he was borrowing from his mommy or his daddy to add to his line. Cars and trucks. They lined up almost to the kitchen, but not quite. I need something else. Sam, I am going to count to three, called his mother in a louder voice. Sounds like Sam's mom was waiting for him for a long time. No, wait, called Sam, just a minute. So he was almost there at the kitchen. His cars and trucks almost reached the kitchen. Let's see what he's gonna put next. Sam looked around. There were plenty of things to line up in the living room, but either they were up too high or too heavy or not to be touched by Sam. So do you guys have anything in your house that sometimes you're not supposed to touch? Something that maybe is gonna break or something fragile? So that's maybe what Sam was thinking of up on his fireplace. I've got to find one more thing, said Sam. I'm almost there. One, counted his mother. Oh, I need something else, said Sam. He needs to make it to the kitchen. What do you think, Yellow Room? What's he gonna use? See. Then Sam had an idea. 
to, said his mother. He laid down on the floor with his hands over his head and Sam just reached the kitchen. Look at that. Sam used his body to reach the kitchen in his line. So first he had his blocks, then he had his books, then he had his bath toys, then he had his boots, then he had his cars and trucks, and then he used his body. How creative of Sam. He looked up and there was his mother saying, three. She looked down at Sam. What are you doing? She asked. I made a line all the way from my room to you, said Sam. Sam sounds like he was very proud of himself. Can you think of a time where you felt very proud of yourself, that you accomplished something, that you did something? Maybe when you built a structure, or maybe when you built something or thought about, it, or thought about um, making a garage for your cars and trucks and you felt really proud of your work. Let's see what Sam is gonna do now with his mom. His mother looked at the line. She picked Sam up off the floor and hugged him. It's terrific, she said. Sam smiled. But please, next time, come when I call you. I love you, Mama, said Sam. I love you, Sam, said his mother. And now it is time for lunch. Sometimes, have you, in the yellow room, have you ever been playing and sometimes you don't want to come for lunch? Sometimes it's good to think about five more minutes. Then Sam had five more minutes and could got all of his toys. Looks like his mommy's making him a yummy lunch. Let's see what they do next. Sam looks at just about three or four years old, just like our friends in the yellow room. The same age as all of us. There's Sam and his mom. They're having such a nice lunch. Looks like they're having grilled cheese and tomato soup. That looks delicious. And a cup of milk for Sam. Maybe some coffee for his mommy. The end.